He is known for being a pioneering scientist in the study of cellular respiration, a biochemical process that extracts energy from food and oxygen in living cells. He is recognized for his discoveries of the citric acid cycle and the urea cycle, which are important sequences of chemical reactions in nearly all organisms. His name is Hans Krebs. In the annals of scientific history, one name shines brightly, Sir Hans Adolf Krebs, a German-born British biologist, physician, and biochemist. His contributions to the field of cellular respiration have had a profound impact on our understanding of how living organisms extract energy from food and oxygen to sustain life. Krebs is best known for his groundbreaking discoveries of two important sequences of chemical reactions that occur in cells, namely the citric acid cycle and the urea cycle. The citric acid cycle, often referred to as the Krebs cycle, is a series of metabolic reactions that allows cells to obtain far more ATP, the energy currency of cells, from the food they consume. This process is crucial for oxygen-respiring organisms, including humans. Krebs' discovery of this cycle revolutionized our understanding of cellular respiration and earned him the prestigious Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1953. In addition to the citric acid cycle, Krebs also co-discovered the glyoxylate cycle with Hans Kornberg. This cycle, a variation of the citric acid cycle, is found in plants, bacteria, protists, and fungi. Together, these cycles play a vital role in extracting energy from food and maintaining the delicate balance of life. Sir Hans Adolf Krebs spent 13 years of his career at the University of Oxford, where he made these groundbreaking discoveries. His work has left an indelible mark on the field of biochemistry and continues to be studied and celebrated today. Krebs' legacy serves as a reminder of the profound impact that scientific inquiry can have on our understanding of the world and our place in it. Hans Krebs, born in Hildesheim, Germany, was the middle child of George Krebs, an ear, nose, and throat surgeon, and Alma Krebs. Growing up in a Jewish Silesian family, he had an older sister, Elizabeth, and a younger brother, Wolfgang. Attending the renowned gymnasium Andrenum in his hometown, Krebs' education was interrupted by World War I. In September 1918, just six months shy of completing his secondary school, he was conscripted into the Imperial German Army. However, he was granted a special emergency examination for his high school diploma, which he passed with such excellence that he suspected the examiners of being overly generous. With the war's end two months later, his military service came to an end as well. Inspired by his father's profession, Krebs entered the University of Göttingen in December 1918 to study medicine. He later transferred to the University of Freiburg in 1919. It was during this time that he published his first scientific paper on a tissue staining technique, working under the guidance of Wilhelm von Mollendorf. Graduating from medical school in December 1923, he spent a year at the Third Medical Clinic in the University of Berlin to obtain his Doctor of Medicine degree and medical license. It was during this period that he shifted his focus from becoming a practicing physician to pursuing a career in medical research, specifically in biochemistry. In 1924, he furthered his studies at the Department of Chemistry at the Pathological Institute of the Cherite Hospital in Berlin, gaining expertise in chemistry and biochemistry. He finally earned his MD degree in 1925 from the University of Hamburg. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.